Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to just talk about how a couple different ways that we can upload data into our commander. So oftentimes in class we're going to have data sets that look something like this, two columns of data, and we are going to be putting them into uh, our commander. Okay, so the easiest and the fastest way to do it is we just copy and paste. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to highlight my data, and I'm just going to simply copy it. And then I can come over into our commander and I can either go from data import and I can go from my text file clipboard or URL and I get this drop down window or I can do it also from basic statistics data and import data from text file and it basically gives me the exact same drop down menu anyhow so two different kind of ways that we can go do it so I'm going to just go to data import and from their text file now, when we have just copied it, uh, computers copy data to what's called our clipboard. So we're just going to say that it's in the clipboard, and we're going to say that it is separated by tabs. That's just what the separator is, is when we do our copying. So we'll just do clipboard, tabs, and then we can click OK. Now, if you want to, you can rename the data set. Uh, on a Mac, I've had problems with trying to rename the data set, uh, but PC, it seems to work just fine. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it alone at, at data set, and we can just go ahead and click OK. And it looks like that I had an error when I did this one, so I'm going to go ahead and recopy it again. I'm just going to do this, copy, and we'll try to run it again. Import, clipboard, tabs, and OK. And I know that it's done it okay if I have this now blue kind of data set right here. And I can also click on view data set and I can see that yes, in fact, our commander now has that data set. Now let's say that I had a separate data set and I want to now import that one. I can just go data, import, and text file and do clipboard and tabs. Now, if I keep the name at dataset, that's just going to overwrite my old dataset, which is totally fine. You just have to know that it's overwriting. Or if you want to do it as another one, you could like do dataset one now, and you can have a different dataset. And that's handy if you're, you're working with multiple datasets at the same time. So if I click OK, though, oh, it did in fact work. So now what I can do is if I click on data set, I can switch between these two data sets that I have, kind of going back and forth. Once again, useful if you're dealing with a bunch of data all at once, um, but since oftentimes we're just dealing with one set of data at a time, um, oftentimes I'll just wind up overwriting that data set, that first one, over and over again. So anyhow, that is one way how I can, how we can look at that and we can get our data in. There's another way that we can get data in too. So I have saved this as teachers and students, and it's just on my desktop. And so I can go to data, import, and instead of using this first one from the text file, clipboard, or URL, I'm going to go all the way down to from Excel file. So I click on this one. I'm going to name this data set 2. And I'm just going to leave these defaults as is. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to pop up this directory. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, so it's not the best drop down window on a Mac, on a PC, I think it's a little bit better, um, but I'm just going to kind of scroll over until I find my desktop, and I'm going to say, okay, I can have access to that, and what I want is this teachers and students. I'm going to double click on that, and now it has pulled up yet another data set called this data set 2. And so I think that the fastest way to do it uh, is when we actually go in and do from the clipboard. Uh, I think it's easiest to just copy and paste, but sometimes I have problems with correctly copying and pasting in the data. Sometimes it doesn't go in correctly. Uh, sometimes it just gets angry at me. And so when that happens, I will save it as an Excel file. And then I usually don't have any problems uploading data from an Excel file. Now, if both of those methods are giving you problems, uh, the easiest way to kind of troubleshoot it is to just restart our studio and our commander, just close all the way out and open all the way back up again. And typically if I do that, I'm able to get my data back in. So anyhow, that's how we get our data into our commander so that we are ready to do uh, our analyses processes.